Yo guys, we're back for part number three. If you haven't checked out the parts before, they're all in the description. And yeah, you can see how we got my stack up to 120k. Going deep in this $22 mini thrill. Let's continue the hand history review. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the parts so far and could take something out of them. Something valuable as well. Um, in this part, we will go down to the final table. And then we'll see how we did over there. Bunch of folding to start this session off. What card that here? But you got the ace nine suited. And break the flop. <laughs> oh, now the hat needs to load a little bit. We give it some time, man. We're not in a rush. So yeah, certainly good run so far. Got a little bit lucky in some spots. Actually played better than I expected me to play. We are down to 30 bigs though. And gotta be um and we are pretty limited to the options we have and just no, cannot be that loose anymore as we've been in the past. Ace eight, 8 now, 26 bigs. I decide to go for the 3 red fold. And given the stats, I would have just folded there. He's not that opening that out of line, so yeah, we don't like this 3 bet. Oh, did we skip the big blind there? Yep, looks like it. Alright, I take it. We're down to 18 bigs now. So it doesn't look that great for us. Raising up the king queen and definitely calling the jam here. I mean, he will be jamming like weak ace axes, small pocket pairs, king ace suited, you know, stuff like that. So easy call for us. Queen 10 off, for example. We make the hold and that's really nice. Pawn double up there. I really don't like it when people jam a hand like that. I mean, even though it's profitable, I think you will just make more money by defending at a lower risk. But with this 8 off open, it's pretty close. Um, just given how tight these guys have been, I think it's good though. Let's continue to be open. We get 3 bet here. And a 4 bet. Certainly, we are out now. I would have peeled his 3 bet. And holy shit, he just stacked off with ace 5. Alright, pretty interesting. Would have been a good part for me to win, but yeah. Also, think his stack off, I mean, if he doesn't know he's a maniac, um, it's a little loose there. Um, I would have just peeled the 3 bet and go went from there. Okay, that's a good hand, yep, like the flat on the button, checking it back here on the flop, and I guess we got a call, we're chopping it quite often, we only do some like pocket sixes, and even those might bet the flop, so I think that's a call on the t river, and he has 8 and suited, so you know if he bets flop there, he will just take it down quite often, I mean I might float him, but he has a really low c-bet, he actually 0%. Alright, zero off run. It's just a spot where he didn't see bet. Actually, yeah. So, alright, he should see better flop though. But yeah, on the river we got a call there. Sam's the open. Big band calls. Once again, I like a small C bet here. Just the third part. Makes it so much easier to play this hand. We get protection as well. But now, king is a pretty good turn. We just bet and take it down. I mean, you see, like, we get less and less people on the. Um, table just meaning that we are going deep now final couple of tables we are on looks like final three tables or final two tables I guess right now I guess final three tables but yeah we'll see a um, bunch of folding <laughs> oh hello got the car from the button um yeah this is kind of close between seed betting. Um, yeah, I don't hate I don't hate the seed bet. We take it down quite often. If we check him and he bets, we just pretty much have to fold. Now we just check full turn though, and that's fine. Power of position, guys. Power of position. Definitely opening this. Get two calls. We want to be seed betting here, and taking it down. Easy. Seed bet is just so strong. So a limp UTG and a 3x here from a tight guy, I don't hate just the fold. If it was a little looser, I wouldn't mind to put in an old 3-bet. And yeah, as you see, the table is getting short again. So I guess we will be on the final 2-table bubble now, if that's a thing. <laughs> Maybe final 3. We'll see, we'll see. I sam off on the button and open, take it down. Since you review open. Look how much these guys are folding, they're definitely not defending enough. 
And another low pass rating. We're down actually to 300. We, had, we did our first 300 hands. Once again, this is usually a fold. Tight big blind. Those guys have been really tight. I, I don't think this um, should be a bad open. But obviously just got a 4 to 3 bet. Usually I would just fold in these spots, you know, but the play seems really soft. Nimp pot. We try to show down our queen high. Win versus check high. That's pretty nice. <laughs> you should obviously bet the flop. And this is a spot to fold our nines, nice fold. I think first of all his open is pretty strong of 13 bigs. Um, he's pretty tight, but this guy goes for 3-bet, look at his stats. We definitely want to fold the nines here. And he folded, alright. Limp pot here. I'm not sure how much he limp folds here. Um, wouldn't hate to raise it up here with the ace blocker. Uh, I don't think limping in is that great with ace 9 off. And wouldn't hate to bluff turn here. They checked around twi uh, to us twice. Um, just fire a big one here on turn and river and get a lot of folds since we don't really think anybody has a has a king. But we can also just get there, fire a big one and get locked up by 7 9 of hearts. Good thing I didn't bet turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that's a fine fold for deuces. He's 5 off now. Once again, the pot. Let's check. Calling flop. Got a call turn, and on the river, we just win versus 4-5, yeah, it's just, you know, he's double baroning there a lot, pushes off a 10 or an 8, he can have, like, the king-queen with the king of hearts and all that stuff, so we want to be calling two, pa uh, two bets when we have, like, the ace, since I have, like, so many, like, 10 nines and all that stuff that is so much weaker. Especially the bet on the turn wasn't that big either, or especially when the turn bet isn't that big, 2 half x and ace check. Just firing out the C bet to make him fold and not let him bluff. Because like once we check a flop like this, he bets, we always have to fold his check, you know. So we just wanna go for the bet and hope he folds. It's gonna be limp in. I mean these days I'm ice doing way more limbs just to get it heads up, but yeah, I didn't back in the days. Also over here I it's kind of weird with him still in the hand. Um we could raise it here, then we have to call him off and with pretty poor equity usually. So when we call it we can still fold to him. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's best there. I think, like, we could call there. Especially with this fish over here. So, now he checks turn. I just fire to get him off some hands. And take the chop on the river. Like, all this bullshit he bets in the flop. Like, king, queen. And even, like, ace, twos. He might fall down the turn. Then limp pot. Gotta fold our ace high. Hold here. Queen and suit looks like a good one. Raise it. Get a call. Right, once again, I like to check. Try flop, backdoor diamonds. Not the best queen. You know, with ace queen, we could go for three streets. Queen 10 is just not thro strong enough. So we have a bad turn and bad river. But just take it down again. Queen and suit will be open now. Take it down. And this is interesting. This guy, we didn't know much about him, just open champs the button here, 44 big, or 45 bigs effective, I sit here with ace queen, and I remember, I remember remember at the time that I wasn't really happy calling, because ace queen is a hand that, even with, some, with something like 6 7 suited, we only have 60% equity. We have 45 bigs, really soft tournaments, going deep, like I said, final like 20 players here out of, how many runs were in this tournament? Let me quickly check, um, 1000 runners. So it's like, we don't really want to get in a spot like this. But then I thought like, he has all the ace if you win this hand, we get a big stack and we have, we are in prime position uh, to really, really make the top three here. So, yeah, I ended up calling. But it was certainly a weird spot. And there's some arguments to be made for folding. And he turned over the deuce, five, deuce four off. I guess he had like an important appointment that he had to attend. And then I was like, okay, thank you for the double. I swear that one pretty hard. He obviously had the 3 as an out, and even that hand has like 36% equity versus the ace queen, I think. We can actually quickly check that. Let me quickly open Equilabs. See his equity there. So, 4, 2, uh, let's put 4 off in there. Versus ace queen off. Look at that, 35% equity. You're like, how this fucking idiot champ fought this off, but you gotta realize, like, we're only winning that 65% of the time. It's not that big. It is not that big. 
I mean, obviously, we're in the majority of the time, but yeah, just gotta realize that. So, happy to avoid that one. And go on to the next one. Change a little bit our race size here. I like to enough X more that deep. Just fire out the flop to get him off some queen X. And decide to go for white bl bluff here on the turn. Um, I like my flop bet, and I think it's also fine to bluff again on the turn. He still has like a lot of like check X, 6 X, maybe small pocket pairs, leave a fold. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks to bluff without equity, you know, like we rather want to be bluffing here, like the 10 9, for example, that we have can at least hit the queen. And yeah, gave up on the river and folded. So, I mean, the king is a good card to push him off all his checks and sixes, I think. So, I do not hate it. Still think it might be a little unnecessary and too wide if we are bluffing with that. You know, with the seven. I just feel like in tournaments like this, like it's just so unnecessary to get ourselves in these spots, you know, like as we saw with the ace queen hand. There's just so many easy ways to pick up chips. Um, with that over card, I'm not quite sure how the math works in this one. He doesn't really chant that wide in the first place, I don't think, so I think the fold will be good. Oh, let's quickly see what they had. I guess he had like ace. Okay, king queen zero. That makes all sense to like a good jam. And check nice unit, obviously bad overcall. I think the fold is fine with the ace check there. Raise it up to an half x now. There we go. Take it down. Yeah, we are in like a really good spot here. I'm not sure what our stack looked like at this point, but certainly close to chip lead. This seabed sizing is too big. We want to be seabedding here because we take it down so often on the flop. But once that pot is enough to make him fold his hands, you don't need to go that big. So I would just fire out like, what is that, like 16k here, 15k, and save a couple of chips. You get raised and have to fold. And we could call there sometimes. We really think he's raising us a lot. Min 3 bet, easy call. Oh yeah, I remember this spot. <laughs> and I just jam. And that's not good. That's just not good. We should just be calling here. Or like re calling it off. Um, I think both are fine. Yeah, but you gotta remember a small 3 bet sizing free. Um... So yeah, once it raises up to like 120k, we can call off, but I wouldn't hate a call here either. I think both of these options are fine. He has a 100% seabed. Four to four times, so yeah, I think like a raise call off is fine. If you just jam, I think it's too much. But yeah, he calls off. We bink the ace in the river and he had queens. And yeah, got lucky there. I mean, we are flipping on the flop. It's a huge flip though that we really don't want to take, so I don't hate like a raise call off. Still have the champ, which is pretty obvious what hand we have in that point, in that spot, and let him just play like pretty openly versus that. So we call, defend the big blind, um, flop and check check. I actually think this fo fo uh, on the turn we should just fold here. And we have a gut shot and an 8. Once he checks flop, you know, I really don't think he will like start bluffing now with like 7s. And yeah, he has like some weak ace x, he has a lot of queens, he can have straights, I should just be folding here. And I actually did fold. I think that's a good fold there on the turn. Given how bad the check is. And fold there. Check and suit it. Is this a final table already? Wait, I can quickly check. No, it's not. It's not. So this is final two tables now. Um I will go down to till we are on the FT in this episode. Because like the FT should take a while. We see that back to diamonds to pair it off. It can just take it down the flop and as well as gotcha to the queen. That's a good spot to be sea betting. Open obviously in the first place is standard. Oh, and we get move tables here. No, we don't get move tables. Well, this guy gets moved or busts, whatever. And he limps, he goes for 3x. I don't hate this overcall, expecting him to call a lot. He can come along. Certainly fine odds to be set mining. He actually folds, alright. Flop goes check, check. And now we full turn. He's a lot of like ace king. Over here, checks. We go on the 3 bet. Sizing is a little bit small again. We are so deep. I'd rather go like close to 3x again, fire something like 52k here, maybe even a little more. He makes a call. Flop is pretty good for us. I like a small C bet. Way too big. We want to be C betting like 40k here, not 50k. Makes the call. Queen, I guess I check back. I mean, he has still some Queen X, he has some pocket pairs. Um, it's just if we bet here and he champs, you're in such an awkward spot, so I don't hate to check. 
Um, but then again, does he really jam that with the queen too often? I mean, I don't know. He looks pretty regular, regularish, regularish, like a rag from the stats. So we could just bet turn again, check back river. Um, and yeah, but I don't hate the check. Now we go for some small vi river value. Round half pot, we could go even smaller than that. You can get caught by five, so that's pretty nice. But that would also, would also call it another bet in a turn, then we could check back the river. But yeah, nice that we got some value there and he caught with fives in the river. Ace 10 now. Um, once again, we could three bet here. He has a big three, four to three bet. Seems aggressive as well. Not that many short stacks behind it would jam that we would have hate would hate calling. So yeah, would be a good spot in my opinion to go for the three three bet with ace ten. We open the kings, got two flats. And obviously check the flop. Always an ace feels bad, man. Um I think we can bet turn here, but I wouldn't hate I, I like a check again. Because we do not we cannot bet river again, you know they still have like a6 units that he did check on the flop. And obviously they have a lot of draws, but they might raise them now. And if we check, then just bluff with them. So I, I would prefer a check here over bet. And now I'm check calling the small sizing and just raise check, you know. And yeah. Wouldn't change much of the outcome probably, but I should be check calling turn there. Aces, hello. And I continue raising. I think that's fine. I've been raising so much. Scary flop, we go for the big C bet. Um, I guess that's fine, but he says like queen 9, 8, 9, and all that stuff, but a lot of draws as well. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. We could also check here and board control given how deep we are. Um, wouldn't be hating that because, like, on a turn like this, we bet again and like he jams now, and he just has check 10, he has 9, 8, he has 8, 7, he has 9, 7, he has queen 7. Like, look at all these fucking hands that beat us at this stage. Um, so yeah, I think with the pot control way we are doing like a little bit better and this tournament isn't that great it's a weird hand man and i'm actually not sure what the best play is but i think i prefer check call on the flop and then probably just call him down two streets minimum p9 we open take it down i mean over a million chips decent spot this ace to suited uh, off suit we could have opened i mean we six-handed Usually it's just a fold here, but once again, the guys have been tied. Yeah, I wouldn't absolutely hate it there. On the FT bubble here. Continue our raises. Go for the C bet. Check in turn now. And go for some river value, I guess. Yep, I like that. He can still cover with like a 7 with an 8. I expect him to bet a queen when we check turn quite often. He shouldn't have that many draws himself, given maybe like something like king check of diamonds. So yeah, I just hope he called, but he folds. So yeah, this should be the FT bomber now. King check. 13 big band jam. Easy call. Oh. Oh my god. Look at all these odds we had in the flop. Cannot hit him. Too bad. Aces. <laughs> no action. But aces quite often in this tournament, man. Fold here. Now we limp. I don't hate that. I mean, how did he defend this big blind? 30%. Still raising is fine here as well. He checks. I definitely have to bet flop here. Really hate the check. Check calling here is pretty bad. Fire big one now on the turn. Doesn't make much sense either. And on the 5, we just take our shoulder menu. I. So at this point, um, once again, I, I think we should just bet flop. Take it down quite often. Um, that's a mistake. But when we like bet big on a turn and he calls and we check river, he can still have diamonds, even though on the five, like something like ace four gets there. He might raise that versus my limp though. Um, and four six gets there, but he doesn't have four six. So I feel like on a turn, we don't lose to like ace four and obviously a three. But all the diamonds pricked, so I think we should call on this spot. Because like he doesn't bet that big with the queen that he checked on the flop, so we only lose to a three. On one hand though, it makes sense for him to have the three, given that he that he like just checked, but a lot of people, once we check the flop, will bet a three, I think. And for that reason, I think we have a call here on the river and I don't like that fold. I think we will make money make, making that call. I like my aggressive button opener. He bets more on toss, we call. Pick up a gut shot, he bets again. And I guess at this point, I, I should just buck my hand. And there we go, yeah. I feel like he's 
I mean, he could be bluffing here, but he wishes Bad River again, has a lot of like ace -X. It's kind of weird to play against this, but he seems pretty tight so far. And I think a stand or a solid style was that. Um, it's good. Playing, folding a lot as well. Was that raise? We just have and kick through suited. I think that's fine. I wouldn't hate a float here, but the sizing is quite big. It's tough for me to continue. We could have champ pre as well if we expect him to raise forward a lot. Which I'm not sure if I can. Folding that. Oh. Yeah, it means I'm not on the button. Once again, fine open. This guy has two bigs. And gets there. Well, like holds pretty much. Oh, interesting here. Going for the four bet with the ace seven suited. <laughs> um, I guess I had like a high th uh, three bet set on him this at this time. Looks pretty solid for me now. Um, sizing is small. So I guess we could just peel this. Yeah, I would just peel this. But yeah, I guess I had some read that I went for the four bet. Even though I'm not the biggest fan. Okay, take it down. Ace, ace blocker. Good shop, good shop. It's a good play if it works. <laughs> um, see betting here. The board is pretty good for his range, but we can still make him fold some of his hands. Now we pick up some equity and he checks. I think we want to uh, we check and check call. You see, this like king queen, ace queen, maybe. Um, he has some other bluffs, so I think we can call here and hope he checks back the river. He had king nine of diamonds. You see that? That was the bluff, so I think that's a good check call in turn. Bad he got down the river. Oh, how much did he jam there? Five bigs, I think three out of his fold. And that is not the final table. So now we had to find two tables. Alright, that is a little weird. I'm a little surprised here. Yeah, this okay, these are the final two tables. This episode has gotten a little longer than the others, so I will just call this episode. We continue next time with the final two tables deep in the 22 mini thrill. Um, thanks for all the feedback. I record this at one session, so I cannot react to it right now, but definitely for the next video, if you enjoyed it, obviously, um, I will try to read all of it and improve. But thank you guys for hanging out. Don't forget to write me in the comments what I can improve, as I said. Hit the like, thumbs up button, I mean, and subscribe as well. See you next time, and good luck at the tables.